Amanda Wise. I've lived in Fairbanks for about 20 years, and I'm a printmaker. I started doing prints probably about four years ago. I had done some when I was younger at school. We tried it, and I hadn't done it for years and years, but a friend of mine encouraged me to take a printmaking class at UAS, and that's when I started. When I start a print, the first thing I do is draw the, the image, the picture that I want, um, color it in, try to figure out where all the pieces are going to go. And then I take the drawing and I take a piece of tracing paper and I trace over the whole thing. And I flip the image over because you need to do a reverse image when you're printmaking, it's like a mirror image. Then I take a piece of carbon paper and I put that underneath the tracing paper and then I draw over it one more time and put that image onto the block, whether it's a, a wood block or a linoleum block, so that I can start carving that. Once the whole image is down, you can do a, a multi-block print where you put the image down on like say three different blocks and then you just cut out the colors for one block. Say one block would be blue, one block would be yellow, one block would be green. And you print all of those separately. So on the butterfly print, on one block, it's just the yellow that I would be cut. And then I got a completely different block to do the blue. And I would just ink the blue and then a different block to lay the black on the top. You have to register the, the prints so that they line up exactly. So I have a square ruler and I have these little tiny pins. You do like hole punches on the paper to line up the pins exactly and you lay the paper down in the pins and then the block up against the square. The press, they have rollers on the top and rollers on the bottom and you slide the block with the paper on top of it and you turn the handle and the block rolls right through and it and presses the ink onto the paper. If I didn't have that press, there are many other ways of making a print. You can use a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon works great. Like you can even put a block and then put a big piece of wood over it and you can put pressure by just standing on top of it. At Michael's or even maybe Joanne's, they have some pink blocks that are easy cut blocks. They're nice and easy to carve. You could also take styrofoam and just lightly go over it with a pencil, put a drawing on that and then roll your ink on top of that and put paper down and with a wooden spoon press the ink into the paper that way. For the red and the tiny little spots up on the bottom of the butterfly, when the print was completely finished, I just hand painted those in with a colored Indian ink. So I've always drawn and I painted for a little while, but this seems to be the, the kind of art that I like the best.